Actually, automation of processes scares people because they say, am I going to lose my job? What does it mean for me? I'm a bit scared. And, and you know, people, ha you know, and people are resistant to automation. And so you have to try and manage that too. And there's also, you know, just building on what you both just said is when you look at something like, especially some of these emerging newer technologies like machine learning or artificial intelligence, I think when you start to get into those uh, newer technologies, and the more advanced technologies, the, the harder change is and the more significant change management is going to be. Because if you think about, to your guys' point about machine learning, let's just use that as an example. You're going to introduce machine learning into your accounts payable processes. And now all of a sudden you're going to automate 70% of what you're doing manually right now. Well, that's great. There's a clear business case for that. You've got an ROI, the technology makes sense, but not so great when you're the AP clerk that your job is going to be 70% automated. Mm -hmm. And it's easy to say, well, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. You're just going to be more strategic or you're going to be more of a manager and, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, well, that's great, but I don't believe you unless you tell me what exactly my job is going to look like in the future. So that's the, those are the sort of dots we have to connect as, as change management practitioners. Yeah.